From a misty mountainside in Japan's Ia Valley, this is Paul Kato with the Chiyori Update. Golden Week is over, and things have finally started to pick up after a difficult spring. We started the year with a visit by Daniel Patterson, formerly a leading member of Shikoku's JET program. Now Daniel's my kind of guest. First, he whipped us up a Mexican feast in the kitchen, and then... He definitely pushed the boundaries of exotic instruments played in Chiori with a fireside serenade on his harp. Let's listen. April was lovely, if a bit slow, but we used the extra time to focus on the restoration projects that Alex and Chiori Trust are consulting with the local government on. Construction starts this year on two houses in the village of Ochiai, with more to follow. By next year the roofs will be rethatched and the formerly abandoned houses will reopen as rental lodges for folks seeking an authentic private stay in Ia. You can find more information about the project at the link on the side. Now let's take a moment for reflection. This week I want to reflect on food storage. Last month we fished the last of our potatoes out of the cellar and planted them in the fields. Boy, that potato cellar is a lifesaver. We were able to store just enough potatoes for just long enough to get us through the year. If there's just one and only thing I've learned about farming during my time at Chiori, and judging from our fields right now, that may be the case, it's the importance of proper storage. You can grow all the grains and veggies you like, but if you don't store them properly, then it's just going to be a big old feast followed by a long famine. Well, that's it for this episode. See you next time on the Chiori Update.